<laughs> so let's go through the highlights that you guys chose. So, so I actually didn't see this highlight originally. My friends actually told me about it. Oh, it yeah. was when Ka uh, Kemba Walker actually dropped Derrick Rose. I think it's a really good crossover, but it's also just sad to see how far Derrick Rose has fallen, personally, because he used to be like a really like top player for me, in my opinion. Like I, I love the guy. But now I just watch this highlight, it's like, oh, he can't play defense anymore. So Derrick Rose, we love you. Get healthy and go to a better team. He's playing really well, but let's see this highlight. Let's see how embarrassed we I hate to do you dirty like this, Derrick yeah. Rose. I'm sorry. Let's check the highlight. So in his home. Ooh. 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 That was quick. I, I, I blinked. <laughs> oh, it's going to replay. It's going to replay. Oh. Ooh. Did he hurt his ankle? Right. He hurt his ankle. Oh, jeez. At least it wasn't the knee. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, oh. Kemba Walker's playing well this year. Like, oh, I, I, first bad. time All-Star. Congrats to him. I feel right? so bad for Derek Rose. Yeah. Time, yeah. I just got him in my fantasy, too. I'm excited. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's right. making more trades than I am. But, yeah, so Kemba Ooh. just, he, uh, he did him really dirty. Did he make that shot? They didn't show it. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Oh, this might be <laughs> his edge. That's why they show it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so let's go through your. This, what did you? What highlight did you choose? Oh, and why did you Kyrie, choose? Oh, uh, Christmas Day. How do you not like that? Another dagger to the Golden State Warriors again. He hit the big shot in in the finals, so I can see why it worked. Oh yeah, got to. Oh. Let's show the highlight of Javon Kyrie hitting that big shot against the Warriors. Right, so it was great defense, though. I'll definitely give him that. Against Clay. Against Clay. Against Clay. Clay is a lot bigger than Kyrie. Let's, yeah. let's not forget about that. He's the best one defender. Yeah. Like, so I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I was surprised. Like, Are you kidding? Kyrie's too close. He's been Kyrie's too close. He is clutch. Yeah, that's why he is put the dagger in them again. Yeah. Two times in a row. So that's what you gotta love it. Right? Oh my god. Like how do you, I was surprised he still made it, like honestly. How did he? Like, like, that was really well defended, turn around, too. Fade away. I feel like he was off-balance, too, when he was shooting. Oh, for he sure. Was way he was way off-balance. Like, and you know, Clay was right in his hands, too. Just like, hand in the face, hands right up, no foul. Just yeah, that was good defense. Straight-up defense. Yeah. So, Ooh. that's great basketball right there. Great defense, great offense, but, hey, Dagger, Mr. Dagger, I should call him Mr. Dagger. <laughs> Mr. Dagger. No, 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 Uncle Drew, Uncle Drew. Both were, uh, both were guard highlights, I guess, in the sense that you guys picked. Guys, like, who do you guys think that are playing well right now? Well, who's playing better than the other? Do you think Kemba or Kyrie is playing, you know, the, a better basketball? Because both of them are all-star right now. Yeah. Well, One is, like, no offense to Walker, he's been playing great, even last last year. But I think this year he stepped it up because after they had that great series with Miami, right? Great series, right? Seven games, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, seven or was six? Seven. Seven, 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 seven series, right? Yeah. So, and he's been playing phenomenal. And now he's bringing it to this year. Now he's going all-star, like you said. Like, he's doing good, but, you know, my boy over in the Cavs, he's playing great again. He's coming one-two punch again this year, so I'm always going to take that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's a big Cavs fan. And a big I don't know. I'm not going to see him. Got to support the team. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not a big uh, Kyrie fan or, or Cavs fan in general, but I have to agree. I think uh, Kyrie is playing better just because, well, one, I don't watch a lot of Charlotte games, but I know Kim was actually doing really well. And this is his first All-Star make, so that's a big deal. So as much as I think Kyrie is playing better, clearly the nod went to Kemba. Obviously, they're both all-stars. That's not what I'm saying. Exactly. But he got the nod finally after instead of, like, anyone else, any other guard in the East that could have gotten it. So I think it is a big deal to say that Kemba is playing very well right now. Good. Um, if you look at it actually down to the stats, they actually have very similar number. Actually, Kemba is scoring a bit more, 22 points a game, with Kyrie's in the 21-ish mm -hmm. a game. They have the same uh, – Kemba's doing more rebounds, but we have – they have the same amount of uh, assists per game. So, in right. a sense, they're basically playing in the same statistical category, but then you can look at it that way, that Kyrie is playing alongside the best player in the game. <laughs> LeBron, and he has Whoa. love. I mean, no. Yeah, exactly. they're, they're and they have a better supporting Curry. guys, but you have Kemba. He has more tools yeah. than Kemba, right? So, so yes. who do you, they're pulling up the same stats, but then one feel like <laughs> carrying more to get that kind of stats. Well, see, the thing is, like, I feel like if there's someone you need at that end of those last – minute or two mm -hmm. uh, to finish the game, I'm going to go with Kyrie because right now he has probably the best crossover maybe in the league, mm -hmm. in my opinion, yeah. right? And the he's, tightest one too. Yeah, and he's yeah. been oh, yeah, breaking yeah. down yeah. everyone really just tight, like, yeah. boom, and we're like, whoa, kind of like almost like Jamal Crawford yeah. back when he was a little bit younger, right? Yeah. But he never like aged. He looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal Crawford looks the same. No matter yeah, right? So like he's just breaking down. Just but like then you look at Kyrie who's still a great uh, slasher, mm. but I feel like Kyrie's jumper is better than Kyrie. That's, in my, that's uh, what I think, right? Yeah. I think I have to disagree with you there. Not because Kyrie isn't clutch, and he's proven over the years that he is very clutch. Yeah. 
but Kemba has to do more for his team. Kyrie has the best player in the world right beside him. So in case he doesn't get the ball, he has someone to go to. He well, even has remember Kevin. before LeBron went there, he was still knocking them down. You got to remember that. Not as much. Not though. as and much. Team, but it's different. How many how you games did that team win? Like twenty? It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's still trying to pull the calf somewhere, right? So yeah. Do you guys feel like these two are playing and, the best in their in terms of their respective position in the East, or do you guys feel like? There's other point guards out there that can actually uh, or they're playing better. Does or, Giannis uh, count can. as a point guard? <laughs> no, Giannis is every, every position. But okay. in terms of the position of the point guard position in the East. Yeah. East, guys, I hate to say it, but yo, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> and yeah. Been yeah. playing great this year. Like, how great. does he score? Five like, to nine is he your five guard? Five nine. Shortest guy, shortest point guard in the league, playing phenomenal. It's, so I'm definitely going to give it up to him being number one. Then Kyrie, then I'll go with uh, Kyle Lowry. That's my top three guys for um, the best guards in the East. Point guards in the East. You didn't even mention John Wall. That's we how even good. John Wall. Oh, that's how good the point guards yeah. in the East have Almost been. Five, like you could argue. There you go. You got Lowry. You got Isaiah. Kyrie. You got Walker and John Wall. Some people like Goran Dragic. I don't and know. Dragic. Yeah. Uh, you could argue he's with not, Dragic play right now. He's been pretty good for Miami. Yeah. He's not a top five point guard, but like no, he's definitely just thinking of East teams, just in the playoff races, where I can think of like Jeff Teague as well. Jeff yeah, Teague Jeff is playing Teague phenomenal. Too, yeah. Yeah. The East guards have been that good, right? Mm. But are they good no enough one, to win? Indiana's not going to be really an well, but I think <laughs> Boston cashed out with Isaiah. Just how good he's been. Sixteenth pick. Just, yeah, he's been consistent, and yeah. his fourth quarter game has so just been. You just Almost, wait till he plays fourth. You know, so twelve five. points yeah. per game yeah. or twelve, 12, 12 in the fourth. Qu- in the fourth, uh, uh, highest in the league right now. Yeah. Correct, right? Yeah. You know, what's the funniest thing about that. He was a Sacramento pick. Yeah, yes. like it's been good. Like we have the first pick of that draft, Kyrie, <laughs> and Isaiah was the last pick of that. Oh, there, that was twenty thirteen. Yeah. yeah, he was last. So thing. yeah, that was awesome. So we can all agree that yeah, I know. Isaiah I is the best, and then Kyrie, or we can argue Kyrie, but it's I'd great. argue Lowry <laughs> over Kyrie, but yeah. you know, we can argue. No, that, right? yeah. yeah. So, but we all agree it's Isaiah. So it's Isaiah time. Thomas, congrats to you, inspiring us. My high people, like, that can ball out and still, like, lead the league in, like, you know, four quarters. And and really battling up for the best scorer in the league right now. So, 